I know I came in the middle of this video, guys, but just bear with me. We got Lonzo here. All right, so what we're going to do, like you did in a couple other houses, is put the furnace up here. Plenty of room. Mm -hmm. So it's about finding where you want to put it and run that gas line down like you did at that one house. You should have a gas line up here somewhere. You think so? Yeah, in the kitchen. And right. The street and then tag through there? Yeah. Okay. That's what we need to do. Let me go downstairs and see that. Yeah, this up here, cool. Then it's about finding where you want to do your duck runs at. Probably duck work going down that way. And then cutting through the floors. and You know what I'm trying to say? The yeah. Planks and find out where each one and make a square. And that'll be your... Yeah, just like you did over mm -hmm. another house. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to see where the gas line. I don't see no gas line. I know it you said it would be downstairs. Right. Let me see where the kitchen is. I'm going to you can tag on to that, uh, wherever that line is and come straight up. Which means that gas line will be exposed. So here's a gas line here. Mm -hmm. Just take it whole straight through. Okay. Okay. Yep, so let me just count and see how many. Yeah, these are my nice side of the room. Yeah, these are two. We could use a four burner though, right? Yeah, but I'm talking about the amount of right. vents you want in here. So at least you need two in there, two right here. You think two in here? Mm hmm. Because if you got two in there, you got one here, the way the heat circulates. Well, I think about it and stuff, but definitely. Here, I would say, I, I can see two vents here. Mm -hmm. And you can uh, centrally locate a vent somewhere. Oh, open, yeah. Yeah, because so you got one there and maybe mm -hmm. one over here. If you mm -hmm. put just one in here, the way the heat travels through here, you're not going to actually need two vents because you're going to have a vent back through here, through right. the bedroom, yeah, and, and in the kitchen. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. And, uh, you know, one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom. Yep, and then each one of these rooms just Yeah, each one room get one vent. Mm -hmm. These are smaller rooms, they're not really gigantic rooms. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight vents. Mm -hmm. Remember now, we got that one furnace that we got to see if we can get going. Hopefully, we can get it. Yeah, yeah. Get, get going, and that's cool. And then two, two tanks. Well, if you supply, if you supply me the, what you call it, I put the tank in for free. I ain't worried about that. If I get the tanks. Mm hmm. Because you usually have two or some land. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But we'll we'll see how that's going to work out. Cause, okay. Because a couple of tanks I do have right now for one of my places. Okay. You know, so I'm not ready to get my tanks up. So we'll see. Okay. I can I put the word out and see what's what's going on, who got what. I know people who actually have stuff laying around like that. So we'll see. Let's say uh, for everything about three. Wow. Well, for that, but I did the other house for twenty five. And that's not and that's not and that's not supplying the tanks. <clears throat> wow. So I did the other house for twenty five for you, and that was with tanks. No, I mean with I mean with all the the, the furnace work. Yeah, and I'm saying I did the other one for twenty five, but that wasn't including you know me putting it. I didn't have to do no tank work, and then I didn't have to look at another furnace. So the one over there on that street, that street right behind your office, I did that for twenty five. Ah, uh, was it? Mm -hmm. I thought it was more or less. Mm -mm. So what does three get me? It's going to get you complete, what's you call it, um, if you supply me the tanks, I will put those in at no cost, I just hook up the gas and the what's you call it to it, I do the vent to the chimney for it, and um, check and then get the other furnace going. You can't beat that with a stick. 
Hmm. I don't even go outside and find a stick. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that's fair. I think it's more than fair. But you're not supplying nothing, you said, right? What, the furnace and the... the one furnace? Mm-hmm. And the duct work, it's got to be all that flex stuff. Hmm. And then doing all that corn and drilling up here and everything like that, corn and out, putting them diffusers. That stuff is expensive. Is it? Yes. One one bag of flex is like twenty five, thirty dollars. How many bags you need? Maybe about they come twenty five footers. So if I put the closest ones, it's gonna be cool. But the ones that's further back this way, it's gonna take like maybe two bags or something like that to get me from all the way to that chimney, which I need to be by the chimney, to all the way to the front of this house. Okay. All the way to the front of this house. So that would be like two bags. So you're saying roughly about a... Hello. Yeah, what's up? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sitting here with Lonzo trying to take care of something. Three days. I didn't get no, miss no call from you. I didn't see anything. Well, tell you what, let me finish taking care of this with Miles and I'll call you back because I'm over here on Leslie. All right. Okay. Three. That's one furnace. So you can get that with a stick. I don't know. Plus run the gas line all the way upstairs, all the way over to the furnace. It's a lot of work. So how long would it take? Probably um, about a week. A week? Mm-hmm. Why is it is this? It's not. No, no. It's just I didn't think it would take a week. I mean, that's just dedicated to this, or you just got other stuff going on? Other stuff going on and stuff too. So, like, I come over and uh, you know, put a whole day in Saturday and Sunday. It might not be, might not be a week of, but you know, what I'm trying to say, I just cover myself. That's all. Well, no, I get that. But my whole point is, when you get a place that's sitting empty like this, mm -hmm. you know, and we've been lucky so far. Not mm -hmm. going, knock on some wood. Well, until they see my, you know, of course, until they see my damn heating and cooling truck, and then that's when shit starts spiraling and down. You know yeah, I, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's when you said a week. I was like, oh, I got to try to guard this place for a week while you're mm -hmm. trying to do that, and I'm trying to see if we can shorten that time up. Yeah. I mean, the worst case is. Um, I'm just trying to cover myself. You know what I'm trying to say? So No, I get that. No, I, I get that you're trying to cover yourself. And I appreciate you, mm -hmm. you know, saying what you got to say when right. it comes to that. Just but understand what, what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with the elements. Right. I ain't talking about earth, wind, and fire. Right. <laughs> I ain't talking about, I'm talking about those elements. I'm talking about Pookie and Ray Ray, the right. elements. Right. You know, because once you that... You just sport it up pretty good, don't you? That don't mean shit. Yeah. When when have you seen a boy slow slow a brother up? <laughs> they got drills too. Are you right? They got drills too. We, we when I came over here the other day and shit, both boards was actually down. Mm -hmm. Nobody came in, but I'm just like somebody whoever did it had a drill. You know. What I need to worst case is I just have to, but I need the furnace to set in place so I can know where my plumbing and what's called return is going to be. And then, worst case, we just take the furnace back out. Because they, they, if they go up there and see any number of duct work, they gonna, you know what I'm trying to say? They ain't going to be shipping them to do. Well, I mean, yeah, I got no problem with that. Now, if we can do something like that, and that's like within the price, the same thing, you line everything mm -hmm. up and we take it out, mm -hmm. and then just put it back in when it's time, mm -hmm. then, I'm, then I'm okay with that. Yeah, I, I mean, we, I've been knowing you 20-some years. Yeah, that ain't no big deal. I'll take it back out. And then... Um, Take it wherever you want me to take it to, and then when somebody move in, all to do is because it ain't gonna be, but to you know put it back in place. Right. That's it. Mm -hmm. And the water tanks, like downstairs. See, I'm gonna need something for DTE to come out and turn the gas on. Mm -hmm. And that's why I need that one furnace down there looked at first. Mm -hmm. 
You know, so we can at least do that. Because they came here that one time. I didn't know that it wasn't vented out and all that shit. So they said, no, we can't do it. Right. And I didn't realize it wasn't vented. Right. And they won't. Who the hell is that? Who is that? Oh. What up? You must have been close. Just got the damn phone with you. I just got the phone with you. Subway. We're on Subway at a restaurant over there on Woodward. Yep. All kind of police coming out of here. Police dogs and TV cameras from Channel 2. I said, what's going on over there? So I decided to ask uh, Fox 2 News later, what's going on? Uh, they're bringing employees out in handcuffs. They're selling weed out of there. You're with right? what? Right there in Woodward. Close to Audi. What place is that? Subway restaurant. They sell them weed out of the subway? They yeah, bring employees out of the handcuffs. They made it a weed. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> and I know the owner probably said, I'll be damned when you are gonna shut him down because these fools they got jobs and they're here selling give them a check and then they're selling weed. They need a weed spot. Somebody dropped it down. So they're gonna be on the news tonight then. Yeah, Fox Two is out there filming right now. Wow. Seeing dogs. Police dogs coming out there, I guess they sniff it every way for the weed, I don't know. Okay, so what you say, Lonzo? Um, so wh what can we do to get that... Uh... Give me a tank, and then we can put the... I mean, I can... If you give me a tank tomorrow or something, what's tomorrow, Saturday? Or whatever and stuff, I can come in and... Damn, I gotta bring the tank through the front door and then take it all the way down the... No, you don't. Why? Why you gotta do that? I got side doors. Oh, okay. I had to just take the screws off and just do like I did the front door. Oh, okay. And go right to the basement. Right. But I'm trying to see if we can get that one furnace fixed. I mean, I could come tomorrow and take a look at it. Yeah. Just, still could hook up the gas to it, but you know what I'm saying? If there ain't no gas here, I can't, I can't uh, see if it works. Working. Uh, if, there's a, if there's a gas thing out here. If the gas, there's no lock on it, and you turn the gas on, you can, right? Let's take a look and see. We did that before. How's it going? All right, all right. Let's take a look. Some of these homes like this, they actually have a meter in the basement. Ah, uh, you might be right. I thought I'd seen a meter outside. Let's double check. They have some of the neighborhoods that haven't came through there. Put them outside, yeah. It should be outside because this one is outside. Well, I see a lot of them houses they didn't do yet. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. A lot of them houses they still got them down in the basement. Let's take a quick look. Okay, Yeah, I'm trying to get this baby going before the weather uh, pitch in. Yeah. What is? Okay. Well, you're here, go right here. Which This one. Well, this is a water line. No, is this a gas right meter? Here. here, the meter's here. Are there locks on here? Um, no. This no one is missing. What do you mean it's missing? Oh, damn, my bad. Sitting right there, bro. Yeah, this is... There's no see. lock. There's no lock on either one of them. See, look. Nope. There, there's no lock here, yeah. there, or there. On either one of these meters. You got a... Um, Pliers? Yeah. Sure. Let me see a pair. Let me open this up. Let me see. You might not even need that. This one is disconnected, ain't it? That line disconnected? That's a gas line, ain't it? Yeah, that's all gas line. Go over there. So that actually goes right here, right? That goes to this. Yeah, it, it must be turned off. What do you mean? Because there's no, no shut off on this. You know what I'm saying? They turned it off from the street. Think so? Yeah. All 
are those gas meters on the on the open? Are they closed? See, it's not even connected. Right here, mm -hmm. see, it's, it's turned off from the street. I don't know, when they came over here that one time, they was going to turn it on when they came here. They, so it wasn't from the street. They just didn't do it because it wasn't vented. Yeah, no, it's turned off from the street. Because this is this is the gas line for the furnace right here. I understand so that. It ain't no, <clears throat> it ain't no plug in there. I know what I'm saying, but right here, these are in an off position already, right? They already in the on position. Hold on, let me see. Yep, see it's here straight across. Yep. That's on. And then this one is on. And then this is the main. Where is it at? Right here. And that's on. If it was cross, right. it'd be off. So they got it off from the street. Okay. Yep, they got it off from the street. So this is on. This is on. And this one is on. So it's about getting this one fixed up and vent it so I can call DCE to come out and, and try to fire it up. Right. Because they ain't got no. Motor works. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's half of it right there. All you do is vent the rest outside so that I know that works. And like I said, if there's anything wrong with the... It looks like somebody tried to take a part of something for some reason. I don't know why. Scrap, probably. Yeah. When the paper was sitting empty. Just take it back around. Probably change the thermocouple and it should fire up because the motor works. Okay. Yep. And then it's just got to put this back in place. Yeah, that's what they did. They... Is those wires right there? Right here. Yeah, because they, they, they twist this all around. You know what I'm trying to say? trying to, But it ain't no big deal about putting it back together. Right. So you just got to be connected. That's all. Yeah, that ain't nothing. <coughs> okay, That's so, a transformer right there, so we know we got power. Okay, so we're going to need to get this taken care of and vent it the whole nine yards. So I can at least call them out so they can turn the gas on. Because they'll turn on those we have... A gas appliance. Okay. And this is gas. Yep. Or a water tank. But I say if, if we can get this going, because the whole idea is to see if we can get this furnace going so I can save this guy some money. Right. And then this is, what is this right here? Oh, it's a gas line. Okay. So we just have to make sure this is turned off for the, ah, just got to get a pair. For the uh, hot water tank, just turn that off. Okay. This right here, this guy. Hook back, bend back down. Put a hammer or something. They truly really tried to. Boy, boy, people, boy, it's a motherfucking man. Something. Hey, something else? God damn. What, what, what's, wrong? What, what's wrong? What's wrong with your people, Alonzo? No, I don't know. They, they hungry, man. I think this is six inch, so I have to get a six inch T because this is naturally. I think this needs that thing like that. Okay. So it'll come out with that draft and then into there. So that's six inch, six inch pipe, elbow, elbow, T, and into there. Okay. Mm hmm Okay, so what do you need for that for right now to get that going? Um, nothing really. I mean, you got you had the stuff you need to get that Not going. Not today. I mean, no, 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 no. Today. I know that, boo. Yeah. You had the stuff laying around to get that going. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the sooner I can get that going, mm -hmm. I call DC out here for some uh, for some uh, some power, some gas. Waiting on Rory. She came over here to bring me some more wood. He ain't showed up yet. My brother left. He's good for that. He's like a damn ghost. Huh? Say what? Do you need a board off and just lock the doors up? Or no? What do you mean? The front door so I can come back tomorrow. Uh. Now I don't leave the board off. Mm -hmm. Can't do that. You said no? I can't leave the board off. I mean, it only take one night for somebody to come over here and see that 
you know, I don't want to break breaking in. I'm trying to secure this place the best way I can. I've been doing good thus far. Okay. Now, you can tell me what time you're trying to come over here because you need a drill. Well, I got my, I, I'm talking about tomorrow. I have all my tools and everything. Well, there it is then. I, right. I can, yeah, I do, I do that. Like you said, no problem with that. As long as you bring your, your stuff. I have my stuff tomorrow. There, there it is. There. Yeah. There it is. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put that back. Waiting on my son because I got to do some other stuff over here okay. real quick. Yep. So um, I call, I text you or whatever and tell you I'm headed this way. Now I just I got my stuff, my drill. Um, I'm not even going to drive my truck. I'm just going to take my car. Okay. Bring it over here and do what I. You know what I'm trying to say? Right. Try to be less inconspicuous and shit as possible, and then. I know it. I know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. 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 So, I do that. Come over here tomorrow. Put that stuff on there. Flip that around, and we. And that should and, be and, good and, to go. And that, and that can call DTE. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I turn that that one foot hot water tank. What I do is I will shut that off and put a cap on it so they won't say anything about that. Okay, that'll be work. That'll yep. be fine. So, and then when you get a chance to get back to your office, do you know I put a brand new motor in on Stope? Is that what you did? Because mm -hmm. somebody told me something. You're always doing something over there every year. No, last time I went over there, it was... Both of them. It was a, one was a flame sensor. and But them furnaces, man, it's been in there since 2000. That's 17 years. That's when you put those in there? And I put them in there. I see them. It's on there. It's on the model number. It's 2000. I remember when you put those things in brand new. Yeah, that was. And the motor is out. Yep, the motor is gone. Yep, put a brand new. Left the motor down in the basement. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, I got you. I okay. think we're already told me what it is. I got you. Why well, just come over here tomorrow and I take care of everything? Okay. So what time tomorrow? Is, you say you coming? Let me see what I got to do tomorrow. This is tomorrow Saturday. Um. About 11, 12, is that cool? Yeah, sure. I mean, you'll be able to get in. Yeah, okay. I'll meet you over here, but yeah, but you'll still be able to get in. Okay. All right, then. All right. Thanks, Lonzo. Okay. Okay, this is Shay from the Shay Show. And we're over here at Ed's place trying to uh, get something going with this heating and cooling. I've been calling my other heating and cooling guy. And for the last month, they come over here and give me some quotes because I think I can get a better deal. But you know, lines will come straight out. So I just need to keep moving. That's all I can do. All right, the Shay from the Shay Show, and we'll see you at the next location.